I'm recording this from home because I have been asked to isolate myself and so has everyone else in Baton Rouge and Louisiana so that we can stop the spread of coronavirus. And so this week we're talking about news values and this particular news story is all we see and all we hear, which means it has all of the news values continuously. So what I've asked some Manship School faculty to explain to you why they believe these news values are important during this time. So let's hear from them. Journalists are interested in um, in localizing stories and um, you know showing their readers and viewers how uh, news affects them directly. And so, uh, if we look at coverage of you know what's going on with the spread of the novel coronavirus, uh, we're always interested in uh, here in Louisiana anything the governor has to say about uh, about the spread and public health in Louisiana. Uh, clearly, news organizations that cover cities are interested in uh, what the governor I and mean, what the, the mayor of their community is uh, saying about it and uh, the news of major city leaders because, um, because that's how you learn what's going on in your community and um, people are, are still really interested in what happens in their neighborhood, in their community, in, in the region they live in. Uh, and, uh, and that informs coverage decisions by journalists. Uh, but conflict is inherently interesting to everybody because we like to watch people fight. It's human nature. Also because conflict might produce results or accountability. It also might produce uh, more answers down the road, depending on how things work out. I often tell students that when you are looking for conflict, it's not just the mayor versus the reporter though, it's sometimes the parents at a PTA meeting, it's sometimes uh, people at church arguing about something to do with the homeless population in their city, how to help them. These actually have a lot of real, actual, real life impacts. Uh, and looking for conflict, while it might seem a little schmarmy, is actually a really good way to illustrate really important truths about society. And, things getting done or not getting done that can help people. Well, I, I think people like to have journalism be this all the time, but in reality, because of human nature, it's often gonna be like this because people people are not going to agree. I was even thinking about the Senate bill last night for coronavirus relief and thinking about how we should just get that thing passed. But uh, it's still, a very interesting story with the conflict inside of it because the conflict reveals underlying truths about what's being prioritized or not being prioritized. Um, so as uncomfortable as it is uh, and as not fun as it is, I think it's really important for journalists especially to think about conflict. And just because someone doesn't like something doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> Unusual is not normal, and nothing is about the nothing about this is normal. We're not relating to each other in a normal way. The healthcare isn't normal. Um, you know how we do our day-to-day -day tasks. Nothing about that is normal, and and unusual. It, it literally goes both ways. Unusual, kind of more on the negative and serious, or or the serious side, I should say, with regard to the things that you have to do that are not normal. It's um, a domino effect that's affecting things on the more serious side, but also on the lighter side too, because you take what happened in Italy when everybody began singing outside their windows and balconies. And that's unusual. And one of the reasons why that took off was because people don't just walk out like they're in a Disney film and start singing out on their balconies every day. So the unusual factor in the story in this national story, global story, can be found in literally every story you tell. And that does not happen every day. But in more like hard news contexts, um, so you can see it obviously today with how news about coronavirus has taken over the front pages of all the newspapers and like all the news sites, like every story 
that's high up and that's visible, it has something to do with coronavirus. And it's pushing other things that are also newsworthy, like down the page or off the front page or below the fold. Um, and one way I have seen that in other places, so I've been following the news in other countries, especially because I do research in East Africa. And one thing I noticed is that some of the countries in East Africa, Uganda specifically, I'm going to Uganda this summer, hopefully. So in Uganda, they've been covering uh, coronavirus, but they actually didn't have any cases until like a couple of days ago. So their news coverage of coronavirus was, we don't have it, we don't have it, we don't have it, but we're still keeping an eye out, which is something that wouldn't normally be a news story. But because coronavirus is kind of a trending topic around the world, um, that bumps, pushes the lack of uh, patients up to a like to something that's newsworthy. I mean, normally, I think we emphasize proximity, timeliness, and probably unusualness over others. But when proximity is global, and timeliness is like every minute, the impact on real humans, I think becomes a more important news value and one that journalists need to weigh more heavily and more often.